morning folks. Year already. Just carried on with this boat today and uh, something I've never done before. Because that's the stern tube with the weld emboss there. So we've got to drill an hole in back of that for that to go through. And then prop shaft goes through that to the propeller there. So that's today's job and then we can finish installing the drive system inside. Um, I've never done it before, I'm going to try and drill so far with that so we get a tidy sort of to start with. I don't know how well it'll work or not, if it ends up just being plasma we'll have to cut it out, I don't know. So we've been, got that to do, been making um, that, it's a bit of stainless steel tube and um, that goes back of the engine on the top of the um, engine uh, mounting light and that carries you know, a flexible hose on that end and a flexible hose on that end and that carries the water between the two swim tanks either side of the engine so it's uh, instead of one big pipe going all the way across the rubber one these will be cut down to a certain length when we, we know when we've got the fittings on and then we'll just have a small rubber hose so it's uh, less of a thing to deteriorate really and it just bolts down then drill some holes in, in uh, mounting plate and then uh, bolt it on so I've been doing that as you can see we've been prepping the steel work there and that's so we can get the blacking on we're, we're using a two part blacking not the old bitumen stuff, the two parts stuff, it's meant to last a lot longer, five, six years, something like that. You never know, it depends how much wear against it, doesn't it, really, that's how long it lasts. If you wear it off, then it uh, needs replacing, doesn't it? So, that's what we've been doing there. Under there is where we've got to drill through. And uh, that'll be uh, a lesson to learn how that goes on. And then we come round internally. It's had a coat of spray on part of the boat. So that's going to carry on and be finished today. So that's it at the moment, that's what we're up to. We've um, got Nigel and my brother and Paul coming in today. So um, we're going to get this done on back anyway, that's the idea. See how it goes on, I don't know. <laughs> we'll see, won't we? Anyway, let, we'll get on with it, we'll get the stuff ready. So the prop is a 17 inch prop, that's diameter. So if you measure from centre, it's like eight and a half inches to the widest point. Although if you sort of measure across them it looks nothing like it, it looks about 16 but you see the actual curve comes out here to meet that one. So, and the formula is you need a 10% of the prop, so it's well, 17 inches, 430mm, so we need a 43mm gap or 1.7 inch gap between the top of the blade and the underside of this counter. So we need to come down 43 mil and then 215 mil and that's where we have to bore through the boat. So we come down 43 mil. That that then gives us that 10% clearance that's required between that and the underside of the counter. And then we're coming in there, eight eight and a half inches of 215 mil, and that's where we drill through 215 mil down. 215 plus the 43, two, two, uh, 258 into. So, we'll get under there and we'll mark it out. Right. So we have us 
clearance above the pop, which is 1.7 inches, 43 milli. Which is there. And then 215 down, which is 18 and a half inches, half of the prop diameter. So that should be a total of two. Uh, hang on, what we got? 43. 215, yeah, 258. So we want 258, and that gives us this. That is where we need to drill through for this boss now. So that's the centre. Put that on. Yeah. That's correct, and it's double, triple, triple check. That leaves 10 inches to there. So we've got sort of same clearance to there as we have to the underside of the swim. Oh, there we are, 258. That marks the spot, so we need to put a drill through that and then we'll use the hole cutter and see, see how much that will cut. It will obviously only cut so far deep that um, we may be able to cut that off and still carry on. I don't know. We'll just have to see what happens, won't we? We'll, we'll get it done. <laughs> Yeah. Like the drill of the spray can. Get the fun out the animal. I like the spray can. It was great. <laughs>
weld into it. I'm putting first with that this little tool, Bosch uh, biometal cutting thing. It's hardened or something, but it's not even knocked teeth off it. I thought it might just drill it once and that way it was 12 quid for tool station, so that went really well. That If that had been a touch deeper in there, the internals, five mil or something, it would have gone straight through. We would have to die grind the last bit. But anyway, that was good, that. So, <sighs> a bit of a strange thing to do, a bit of a, you know, make sure you've got it all set up correctly and that, because you don't want to be cutting holes and then filling them up. So, anyway, that's it. So, we'll celebrate. We'll have a cup of tea and a bacon sandwich. Do that now, man. Hmm. Well, you can see the flush up there. That on the outside. <laughs> it looks well by sight, it looks fine. I don't know how much of that boss is meant to stick out of the look. Yeah. It looks alright, nice. Good, doesn't it? I'm Ooh. thinking why I'm sat here, you know what I'm making life easier for. So if we made a couple of screw jacks, a little bit of tube and yeah. the bolt and the washer out and just a little V on the top of a couple of feet. And then we can just position this, oh, get yeah. all those measurements right. Yeah. Move it, you know, sideways, get it lying, everything else, just a tiny little movement. Yeah. Yeah. And a couple of screw jacks would be great. Mm -hmm. Set about clear with it, mark it, get all the measurements, make any little fine adjustments just by mm. Fucking hell, it's still hot. It's that weldy stuff. That weldy stuff. Do not use non-board <laughs> I use hot glue. <laughs> it sticks that metal together. There we go. That's pretty neat, isn't it? Yeah. So now we can get the measurements for those plates. Yeah. Well, this is going to be 150 for well, it says on here for clear. It says something, doesn't it? Yeah, it looks good, that though, nice. Pleased with that for today. Yeah. Went well. Yeah. I certainly proved it and achieved it, haven't we? Yeah. So, uh, what's that? You put that all in that plane and everything's easy to get to, isn't it? Yeah. Apart from these two under here, but... Oh, that's... Yeah, that's upside down, I know. What is? That, that uh, stern gland. This? Yes. Oh, there's a grease point on it? Yes. There. There it is.
That's what squeezes around your your packing. Cracking. Cracking a bit of kit. Jackson, it'll just pop over a mill, whatever you need to do. Yeah, they're good, them. Good little bit of kit, them. Right, jolly fucking good. Hands <laughs> washed. Now we've got it all in now. Nigel's just gone home, and there. Uh, great to help he was today, Nigel. Good friend of mine who was. Uh, Spent a lot of years in the military and the Royal Electrical Mechanical Engineers and he's very knowledgeable about everything engineering wise. So we've got that in <coughs> and we just made these little jacks. Just simply a, a, a nut and a bolt and a bit of angle on top and a little jack stand and you can just wind them up and down so you can get all the shaft lined up. So that is roughly, well not roughly, that's where we are the position and this aqua coupling. So this coupling here, this aqua drive, it allows for differences between the gearbox flange there and the prop shaft and you can be 30 degrees out, which is a heck of a way out. It, it just gives a lot quieter drive to the motor and everything, so your boat doesn't rattle around so much and the noise doesn't get transferred through. The next job in here is where I make that plate and another plate that this flange bolts on, so a plate goes across there and then there's a plate across here and uh, you can see you have a cutout on it so that sits over it and just bolts down so we need to measure across here get the heights get the centre 150mm diameter hole made into like a horseshoe shape and two holes in for the bolt through there so I'm going to get some measurements for that find some plate and get on with that and uh, also this one here well, that's the next job to get that done and they get welded in and then they support this whole system And then we've got to weld this boss in. That'll be fun getting underneath there to weld. <laughs> Not a lot of room under there. But the main weld, it'll be fully welded on the outside. So that's easy to get to. We can uh, use some low hydrogen rods on the outside and weld them on with that. So it's, uh, get the weld tested. That's it, I'll have a measure and we'll get some plate.
that's it for today folks anyway it's one o'clock Saturday afternoon time to be going home and uh, we'll go and have a beer <laughs> so right so thanks everybody for watching and liking subscribing and leaving comments etc so part two of this we'll be finishing this plate we've got another plate to make getting it welded in so that'll be next week so see you in part two. Ta-ra!